everybody, thanks for stopping in. Several weeks ago I cooked a beef tri-tip roast in the crock pot for the first time and it turned out pretty good so I picked up another one on sale the other day and um, this time I'm going to try doing a couple things different. For one, I'm going to slice this one up first and the second thing I'm going to do differently is cook it on low rather than high. So let's get crocking. So I found this little uh, tri-tip in the discounted meat section for $4.99 a pound. This one's like 1.44 pounds, paid $7.19 for it. Now you're supposed to slice these across the grain, but if you look at this piece of meat, you can see that the, the meat fibers run that way in that piece, and they run this way in this piece. So what I'm gonna have to do is cut it there and slice these across the grain that way and slice these that way. So I'm going to do that and then we'll get it in the crock pot. Okay, I'm just going to keep this real simple. The other tri-tip I cooked, I made it like a pot roast and put vegetables in there. But this I'm just going to cook the meat by itself and maybe make some sandwiches out of it. Um, that was a tough piece of meat to cut through, man. It was really tough. So I'm just going to season it with some kosher salt here. All right, that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna season it with this lavender uh, seasoning. It's got pepper, onion, garlic, celery flakes, red bell pepper, and lavender in it. It's pretty good. My wife got this when she went to Washington, so just hit it with a little bit of that. All right, that looks pretty good. Now for broth, I put two cups of water, and I'm gonna put one beef bouillon cube. Pick these up in the Hispanic section. These work pretty good. One bouillon cube per two cups of water. So let's kind of break that up. And um, I was gonna put some garlic powder, but I just bought this the other day. It's uh, freeze-dried garlic. So we'll try just a little bit of that. See how that comes out. Okay, go ahead and get my meat in there. Kind of get it mixed up good there. Turn the crock pot to low and we'll get the heat on, the lid on, heat on. <laughs> get the lid on and we'll be back in a few hours. It's only been 15 minutes, but I realized I forgot to put some Worcestershire sire, sure, Worcestershire sire sauce in there. So I'll just splash a little bit of that in there. All right, it's been exactly five hours, so let's check on this. I checked it at four and it didn't seem very tender at all, so. We'll see how it looks now. That's real tender now, it's pulling apart tender. So this turned out a lot more tender than the one I cooked whole. So slicing it up like that and also cooking it on low. That was Gary over at the Food Porn uh, Network channel that suggested I cook it on low. He thought it might be more tender on low and he was right about that. So uh, I'm gonna grab a roll now and make a sandwich. This turned out really good. I'm really happy with this. Um, I picked up a nice Kaiser roll when I was out shopping earlier. So put a piece of Havarti cheese on top of there. Put the top on that. And let's try a bite. And also that the gravy is really tasty as well. And the, um, that um, dehydrated garlic or freeze dried garlic is pretty good too. So can use this gravy for dipping, kind of like a French dip. This turned out really good. I'm really happy with this. Now I'm gonna finish eating. Thanks for watching you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.